for Joe Biden. I don't know what you're going to get, what's going to come up, what's going to happen. But one thing you're not going to get is, I believe in the end, it's not your just do or what you really want. And what you really want is the freedoms, opportunities, and advantages that you deserve. I believe many of you deserve, but you're not going to get it with Joe Biden. I don't know how much I can express that. I could say it a million more times, and maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't get it. That's up to you. But tomorrow, Election Day, do not vote Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It is a trick. It's a trick. It's a political trick. And if many of y'all in the Hotep community are familiar with the whole term politrix, the worm's getting pulled on you right now. A big one. And I'm here to warn you. And I want you to see this a year from now, maybe two years from now, maybe three years from now. Go back and look at this very same video and remember what I told you about Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They have a plan. I don't know what that plan is, but based off their records, it's not a very good plan. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'd rather for you not to vote anybody on Election Day, but definitely don't vote for an ex-segregationist who supported, supported segregationists, the Dixiecrats, and also supported not having black children go to school with his children because it would implore a racial zoo. This is what Joe Biden said, and this is the man that you want to go vote for tomorrow. Kamala Harris. She wanted to keep prisoners in jail, including black women, which she's not a black woman, she's an Indian woman of Jamaican descent. Just like a lot of Chinese immigrants and everybody else is down there. And this is a woman you want to vote for. I am almost embarrassed right now with the African American population and how they are so outwittingly disconfused. And I still ask to this day, can somebody, somebody please provide me the moment that Donald Trump said something despicable about African Americans in the media. I wanna see the fucking transcript. If you have the transcript, please show it to me. Please send it to me. Please put the link in the description box so I can see it and I will speak on it. I'll come back here and speak on it. But I haven't and you guys know just as well as I do it doesn't exist, all right? You guys are bandwagoning on immigrant policies and you're not immigrants, you're native-born American citizens. The problems that incoming immigrants have are not your problems. And I don't mean that in a despicable way, and I don't mean that to insult anyone. But if you're a first-generation, second-generation immigrant, your problems and my problems are different. I'm not from God. I'm not from, I'm not from wherever else you may have originated from. And I speak English pretty goddamn well, and I have probably eight to nine generations of my family that have fought in wars here, have put down the odds here, have been on the field here, and everything else. So when you tell me, and just like I just had this other guy come up to me other minute ago when I started the video and I told you guys, I said, I find it very odd that we have a man that doesn't even speak English, but he has a political opinion. And then when I asked the two gentlemen from Ghana while they were voting for Trump, I mean, excuse me, Biden, they said, oh, because he, em he, he embraces immigration. When this pandemic is over, we're going to be lucky if there's jobs for native-born Americans. Okay? All up and down this block, Fifth Avenue, all over on Sixth Avenue, and I, I, I did video of it. I'm going to chop it up and add some of it into here. You see nothing but boarded up shops. You see places like Lord & Taylor, which right down this very same block, they closed their store here in New York, which is a historical location. They closed it last year. Now Lord & Taylor, as a company themselves, has now dissolved. They don't exist anymore. Why? Because of the pandemic. And there's many other companies, there's many other agencies, there's many other people that have the same thing going on. So for me, I'm not going to put priority on immigration right now. I'm going to put priority on helping African Americans, the Latinos that are already here, and that's it. But I've seen this divide of people in the liberal sector that support immigration so well. And I'm like, why? 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 Why has this always been the premise of liberals? Someone answer that question for me because I can't. I can't answer it. And, and, and I don't mean that because, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't mean that in an insidious way. My background is partially Caribbean. So, you know, it, 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 it goes to say, but my mother's side, my mother's family, all born and raised, you know? So I don't think there should be a full blast on immigration when we're in a national 
goddamn pandemic. And anything can happen this winter, anything can happen this spring. It's time to start putting priority back into America and Americans. Not the woes and the ahs of what's going on in third world countries, I'm sorry to say, what's going on in places that are not as lucrative as us. There are people that come here and they get jobs or whatever, whatever, making $15 an hour, minimum wage, and they will act like they are better than native born Americans, throw their chest up and everything else. And I find it disgusting. I find it literally disgusting. They don't contribute to the economy. Instead, they take the money from the economy and they ship it and divide it amongst themselves. Like I said, do not vote for Joe Biden do not vote for Kamala Harris tomorrow. It is a fucking trick. And if you fall for that trick, don't come back two years later saying, oh my God, I can't believe this. We did the same thing with Barack Obama. I was part of the Rock the Vote campaign. When you voted Barack Obama in, did he do anything for you? What did he do for you? I'm still waiting. I have people that go into the comment section and they'll say, well, he did this and he, he lived. I think somebody said something about Obamacare. Who gives a shit? There was Medicaid existing before Obamacare. You got to make sense of this one. The liberal trice are trying to get everyone to accept anything and everything it needs to come to a halt. It needs to be over. It's time that people start worrying about America, African Americans, and Latin Americans, part of the Latinx crowd. That's, that's my firm belief, and I'm going to stick on that. And I also say native-born white Americans. We need to put priority on our country first, because if you go to any other country, they always put priority on their own first before they put priority on anybody else. Before we go out in these streets and there's a cause for them or whatever, we're always putting them as priority. We're always saying, oh, war is me. Well, meanwhile, most of the people around the world are laughing at us because we can't come in five months to a decision whether or not we're going to give 1200 measly dollars to American citizens five months later. Meanwhile, Canada has been getting $2,000 a month for the past seven, eight months. These are the Democrats you want to vote for. Nancy Pelosi, who was offered $1.8 million last go around, and she was asking for $2.2 trillion, and she got a, thir a third off from that. She didn't take it? And these are the Democrats you want to vote back in. If you ain't got anything smart when Nancy Pelosi's time comes up, get her the hell out of there. Get her the hell out of there. And remind yourself that Nancy Pelosi kept you hold for five months while your family might have starved, while your kids might have starved, or anything else because she wanted her way, like a child. All right, guys. Links are in the descriptions. Um, GoFundMe, Cash App, PayPal, etc., etc., etc. I would rather see you not vote for anybody than vote for these two Kankamani motherfuckers. <laughs> I got recognized. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I love it. Um, I would rather you guys not vote for anybody than vote for Joe Biden. I would rather you guys vote for nobody than vote for Kamala Harris. Because it's a fucking trick. And I see right through it and I'm never wrong about this shit. I guess that's why I trend. I don't know. All right, guys, I will see you later. Links are in the description. Make sure you donate, donate, donate. Let's keep the channel going. I'm doing what I can here. I'm going to do one more here, guys, and then I'm out of here or whatever. And as you can see, all those guys are in my comment section. You go up there, you're going to get lynched in front of Trump Tower. It's a brother right there behind me. You go up there to Trump Tower, them cops going to shoot you. I used to live on this block. That's the dumb shit that's projected from liberals. You see these gentlemen behind me? These gentlemen are doing their job. You understand? And these gentlemen are not worried about me. And you know why they're not worried about me? Because they know my face. All right, guys, I'm out of here.